My name is Tom Broom. I'm Rankin County Court Judge, and I handle youth court here in Rankin County, Mississippi. Uh, the number one public e health e epidemic with regard to our children and youth is uh, vaping and e-cigarettes. Uh, without question, uh, this is a new drug delivery system that's being used uh, improperly and illegally by our children, some of which who are getting it from adults who are selling it to them. We have some parents who are buying it for them, but in any circumstance, it's illegal for a child under the age of 18 to uh, be in possession of a jewel or a vape or e-cigarette and be using that. Anyone who sells or distributes or gives those to, the, to a child or their own child is really committing the crime of uh, contributing to the delinquency and neglect of a minor, uh, not to mention violating the laws with regard to distribution of tobacco and tobacco related products, all of which are causing serious health issues, uh, causing them to pass out, to have seizures, to have uncontrollable rage. Sometimes the effects of those are mixed in with their psychotropic medications that they're prescribed by doctors, which cause irregular and erratic results, which often result in some type of uh, disturbance at the home or disturbance in school, putting everyone at risk. Uh, these substances uh, that are being sold or given to our children uh, by these folks who are purveying drugs, and essentially that's what they are, they are drug dealers, are, are putting people at, at extreme health risk uh, and putting the public at extreme risk because not only does the vape affect the person who's using it, it affects the people around them. And if you transmit, give, sell, or distribute any of these things, you will be subject to criminal prosecution and the person who uses it, the end user of these devices, may have a case for civil liability against you for <coughs> distributing these products and causing them damage. So it is very much fraught with all sorts of legal issues. It doesn't matter what age the distributor is, if you're selling these products to other children, you are going to be subject to criminal and civil liability. So it's my desire and hope that you listen to the public health experts, your school teachers, your principals, you listen to the folks in law enforcement because these devices are probably some of the most dangerous things that we have affecting our children and their public health here today. So thank you and uh, God bless you all. And if we can be of any service here at the Rankin County Youth Court, please let us know.